Tiffany Henyard, once hailed as a dynamic and transformative figure in local government, now finds herself embroiled in a scandal that has gripped Dalton with shock and disbelief. Once seen as a rising star, someone who could bring about the change her community needed, she is now at the center of a federal investigation that has thrown the small town into chaos. The allegations against her are serious, painting the picture of a leader who used her position to live a life of luxury and excess, while her constituents struggled under the weight of growing financial burdens. What was once a town filled with hope for the future under her leadership is now a community grappling with the consequences of what appears to be a profound betrayal of trust. As the FBI digs deeper into the finances of Dalton, it's becoming increasingly clear that this is no simple case of mismanagement or poor judgment. Instead, it looks like a complex web of corruption that has ensnared several key figures in local governance, all of whom are now facing intense scrutiny. Tiffany Henyard, at the center of it all, is accused of siphoning taxpayer money to fund an opulent lifestyle more suited to a reality TV star than a public so, servant. Now having more While than Dalton struggles with a crippling debt of more than no $3.5 million, dollars, reports have emerged suggesting that Tiffany has spent staggering amounts of money on personal luxuries. The most shocking revelation so far is a report that she spent over $443,000 in just one day on Amazon, a purchase that has left many speechless. How, the people of Dalton ask, could someone responsible for their community's welfare spend such an egregious amount in a single day when the town's finances are in shambles? This isn't the only example of Tiffany's alleged extravagant spending. From lavish dining experiences to high-end shopping sprees, her life appears to have been one filled with indulgence and excess. As more details of her spending come to light, it's becoming clear that Tiffany has been living in a bubble, disconnected from the financial realities that have plagued the town she was elected to lead. The more the investigation unfolds, the more the contrast between her personal life and the state of Dalton becomes glaringly apparent. Residents are left wondering how someone who was supposed to be their advocate could turn her back on them so spectacularly, all while living a life most could only dream of. As the FBI meticulously combs through her financial records, it's becoming increasingly clear that Tiffany was not acting alone. The subpoenas issued as part of the investigation indicate that a broader conspiracy may be at play, with several key players from Tiffany's inner circle implicated in the scandal. Chief among them is her top aide, Keith Freeman, who is now facing significant pressure as the evidence against both him and Tiffany continues to mount. Sources close to the investigation suggest that some insiders are beginning to cooperate with federal authorities, offering up information that could further tighten the noose around Tiffany and her team. The walls are closing in, and Tiffany's once secure position is quickly unraveling as those closest to her scramble to protect themselves. In a desperate attempt to save her career and her reputation, Tiffany has turned to a well-worn defense strategy. She claims that the investigation is not about corruption, but about politics, that she is being targeted because of her race and gender. It's a narrative that, in the past, has resonated with some of her supporters, but in the face of overwhelming evidence, it seems to be falling flat. Many in the community see her claims of being a victim of political persecution as a blatant attempt to deflect from her wrongdoing. The weight of the evidence against her is simply too much for many to ignore. This is not just a case of personal failure. It is a betrayal of the people who trusted her, who believed in her vision for a better Dalton. Her attempts to rally support through this narrative appear to be backfiring, as more and more people are calling for accountability and transparency, not excuses. The anger in the community is palpable. Businesses and local leaders who have been on the receiving end of Tiffany's political pressure are now speaking out. Many of these businesses, which have suffered under what they describe as a culture of harassment and intimidation, are now stepping forward as key witnesses in the FBI investigation. Their testimonies could prove critical in untangling the web of financial misconduct that Tiffany allegedly orchestrated. The businesses that once feared retribution for standing up to her are now finding their voices, eager to contribute to what many see as a long-overdue reckoning for a leader who has betrayed their trust. 
Tiffany's personal lifestyle is now under intense scrutiny, with every detail of her spending habits being analyzed by both investigators and the public. Reports indicate that her spending included luxury travel, extravagant dining experiences, and even a police security detail that cost the town nearly a million dollars. These revelations have sparked outrage among Dalton's residents, many of whom are struggling to make ends meet in a town that has been financially crippled under Tiffany's leadership. How, they ask, could someone entrusted with public funds justify spending so recklessly, particularly on personal luxuries that seem so far removed from the needs of the community? As Tiffany's reputation crumbles under the weight of these allegations, the question of her accountability looms larger than ever. Each new revelation diminishes her credibility and paints a portrait of a leader who was more concerned with her image and personal gain than the well-being of the town she was supposed to serve. The sheer audacity of her spending suggests a leader who believed herself untouchable, insulated from the consequences of her actions, but now, as federal agents continue to connect the dots, it's becoming clear that Tiffany may have grossly miscalculated her position. In this unfolding drama, it's important to recognize that Tiffany's potential downfall is not just about one person's corruption. It speaks to broader systemic issues in local governance. The fact that someone in her position could allegedly misuse taxpayer money so brazenly calls into question the integrity of the entire system. Dalton is now grappling with the painful reality that they have been let down by someone they believed in, and the consequences of Tiffany's actions will likely reverberate for years to come. As the investigation intensifies, Tiffany's legal team is doing everything in their power to mount a defense. Their strategy appears to focus on shifting the blame to her top aide, Keith Freeman, suggesting that he was the mastermind behind the financial mismanagement while Tiffany was merely following orders. But this defense is already being met with skepticism. It's hard for the public to believe that someone who has held office for nearly eight years, who has publicly claimed to be in control, could now claim ignorance. Leadership comes with responsibility, and Tiffany's attempts to portray herself as a naive pawn in a larger scheme only seem to deepen the public's mistrust. As the investigation progresses, more and more people are coming forward to share their experiences, many of them painting a damning picture of Tiffany's leadership. It seems increasingly unlikely that she will emerge from this scandal unscathed. The FBI's pursuit of justice appears relentless, and they seem committed to uncovering the full extent of Tiffany's alleged corruption. The people of Dalton, once silent in the face of her power, are beginning to demand accountability. They want transparency in their government, and they want those responsible for the town's financial woes to be held to account. It's clear that Tiffany has lost the trust of many, and as the investigation continues, her position only becomes more precarious. In the end, this scandal serves as a stark reminder of the importance of integrity in public office. It underscores the need for accountability and transparency in leadership, particularly for those who hold the public's trust. As Tiffany's story continues to unfold, it will serve as a cautionary tale for future leaders about the consequences of greed, betrayal, and the failure to serve one's community. What do you think will happen next in this unfolding drama? Will Tiffany face the full consequences of her actions, or will she find a way to escape accountability? Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates as this story continues to develop.